on my way to Rogers Ryan's fish farm. Uh, he's doing a little gathering for our local fish club, which is really cool. He's doing a little barbecue for everyone. Uh, maybe buy some fish and stuff like that. So it was really cool of him to put that together. And uh, yeah, hoping I could bring a few tidbits back for you guys so you can check them out. But right now I gotta drive. Here's Andres from Ryan's fish farm. So he just got uh, his house over here That's where he lives. And then he's got like a house over here there. He sets up some of his uh, tanks as well as he's got a, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Greenhouse over here. So let's check out what he's got in there. So here's the greenhouse. Let's check this place out first. Ooh, it's muggy in here. See if we can find out where his water system is set up. So it looks like he's using what he's called a bubble bead filter. And he's got about three of these set up throughout. It's like one for each rack or row of tanks that he's got set up. And that's what filters his water and sends everything back. He's also got some DIY stuff here. Let's see what he's got. Sorry for the noise, guys. There's a little pump in the back. Oh, this is like a bio balls and stuff in here. It's an extra step of filtration, it looks like. I'm not sure what kind of fish he's got in here, though. Some shrimp set up out here. Looks like this is a uh, orange shrimp. Well, maybe some red zone, or maybe some mixed. Let's see a little, a few different colors there. Some more shrimp. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe a monos, maybe. Duckweed. Nothing that I can see so far. Uh, these will be hard to see, but there's some black shrimp in there. I don't know if it's find a white sandy area to find to see them, but yeah, tons of black shrimp in here, just spread out across this tub. We got some more duckweed. Uh, Red cherries in there or something, let's see. It's like some kumbamba and duckweed. Oh, there's some ram's horns in here. Oh, there's something, I saw something at the bottom. Did I find it again? This looks like a red cherry shrimp. Kind of hard to see. What else we got? Some shrimp down there. See some endlers in there. What we got in here? 
More shrimp. Lots of shrimp going on in here. set us for the angels it looks like they're like I don't know, maybe 20 longs and you just got a breeding slate in there with them and a little bit of air going on so yeah it's got to be about I don't know 84 degrees in here Quite a few coys in here. All right, then in the tusk below it, it's a bunch of angels in there. You can see all the little white dots? All angels. So these appear to be more coys. Tons of them. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, not sure what he's got in here. See the quarries or Cynodonis maybe? But he's got some shrimp over here on the walls. Let's see if I can get them. There you can see one right there. And what else we got? Man, I saw them swim by. I can't find them again for you guys. Huh. I have to take my word for it. I think they sent Adonis. And we got a bunch more angels in here. I you guys can see those down in there. Some more angels. What you got here? Uh, pleco? Big pleco about, mm, I would guess about eight inches. And then stand pipe in the middle there. Albino bristle nose in here. Using big pikes for breeding, I imagine. But yeah, it looks like he's a pretty simple system. Just uh, everything goes through these top tanks, and then it overflows into these big tubs underneath it. And under those, everything goes back to the sump system with a return. Binos. That's a little interesting uh, pipe setup he's got here. It's a string tied to the top of the PVC, and then he's got like a bunch of PVCs set up on top of each other. And looks like he's got more shrimp in here. That's breeding for profit, right? He's with a uh, he's got a bino bristle nose, and he's got shrimp, so doubling up. Okay, so here the Cynodonis, but. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see them because they're hid in the back when I walked up. 
Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. You guys see them? Tons of them in here. Looks like he's doing a few immersed drone setups here. He's got the bottoms with the uh, top covers here to keep the humidity in, indoor in the greenhouse. But the humidity's not too high in here. I don't know exactly what he's growing there. Yeah, it looks like a crypt almost, but it looks like it has a stem, so I'm not sure. This is a kind of cool little wild setup he's got here. Got in there a bunch of endlers. Tanks in rough shapes, it's hard to see, but there's a ton of them in there. Some pretty plant growth though. It's a wild jungle look. Some dense growth right there. Plant that is right there, it's like a sawtooth, maybe. Let's see if you got it, cut it up. There we go. We got some pretty plants going on this side. What's weird is that's the side that's closest to the wall. I think that would get the most sun, give you the most algae. bunch more angels up here. Looks like he's got an endler tank here. Ooh, these are nice. There's tropius. Yeah. I don't know, but they're pretty, whatever they are. I'll have to ask them what they are. A white, a little blue sheen to them on their tail and on their forehead. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see what he has indoors in this uh, house. Or building, I guess you could call it. Shrimp building. Fish building. Who knows what he's got in here. Oh. Go right into the brine shrimp. Can't raise fish without brine shrimp. What do we got here? Like, I don't think he's using it. it needs to be some type of reactor. We got here, but it's got a lot of them. Cichlids. I don't know my cichlids.
pretty nice. Hey, we got a light on the tank. I really need to start learning my secrets. A lot of people keep them out here, and I don't know them. I think you might have some Pandagara, maybe? What are those are called? So it looks like he's breeding those out, too. Looks like he's pretty successful at that. They're covering the bottom of this tank. Ooh, what you got here? Ten of them on that sponge. These are baby Cynodonis. Jeez, a lot of them. All over that sponge, all in these pipes. I would show you, but there's just too much stuff here. You can't see. Oh, looks like you got a, some shellies here. Petricola, or something or other. I think that's right. I don't know. We'll fix it in editing. This has got quite a few tanks with with uh, Shelly's. It looks like he just I don't know. He, he might be uh, what do you call it? Gluing the shells to a slate tile and kind of giving them their own. What do you call it? Territories that way. You see, there's about three in each. I wonder how that's working for him. It's a uh, breeding well, rack. So the tetras go in here, right? So that's how and the eggs, the eggs fall yeah, through the net. Through. This goes up top, so you know it's, it's on the top of the tank. Mm -hmm. You can see them over there. They got them set up. You got very fine mesh. I'm trying it now. It just looks, looks like a window. Uh, what is it got? Window screening.